What's up guys, it's Ty. Today I'm going to show you how I built my full studio vocal booth. Cue and drum with so guys, uh, I decided to do this this way because um, I had seen a lot of stuff online with PVC piping uh, and using it as a frame, but a lot of people were putting the producer style blankets on it and the outside. And it wasn't. It was good for vocals from the inside, but it wasn't necessarily soundproofing it. And I live in a house with a lot of people, uh, and we have an unfinished basement, but I still needed something that would uh, block them out and also block me out, especially because I'm up late uh, at night when they're sleeping and you can hear everything up there because there's nothing on the ceiling of the basement. So I decided to do this a little bit different. It's a little bit of step above having those blankets. Uh, because I decided to use actual insulation for the walls. So I'm gonna show you step by step of how I built this thing. Uh, but first we're gonna start with the PVC frame. So for the Velcro, I ended up getting sticky back. Uh, it holds up to five pounds. Walls and stuff are, are more than light enough with this. So we're gonna put it on the corners. Uh, everywhere it needs to be put in place uh, and then we'll run the electrical by electrical I mean neon lights that are gonna make this thing look awesome Push game 24 folks act funny bro got ace time slab goes rims with a honey spokes okay so we've got the velcro in place in all spots that it needs to be on the frame itself so that everything can be put up on the wall the next thing we're gonna do is wrap the entire thing in 16 gauge multi-purpose wire uh, I used the Blue Hawk. It's cheap and expensive for, it was 200 feet, yeah. So basically the way this is gonna be put together, when the walls get stuck on, the wire will be on the inside. And I'm using rock wool safe and sound insulation. So a lot of the research that I did, uh, it's one of the best insulations for soundproofing. Obviously for this purpose, it'll be a little bit different than actual construction, but it'll do a great job for buffering the sound from people being upstairs in the house and when I am recording. So this will be wrapped inside and the walls will be on the outside of the PVC. The insulation will fit snugly in between both and then I'll have sheets on the inside so I'm not just staring at insulation. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is wrap the entire thing in the wire. Okay, so we've got the carpet down, the frame together, the neon lights ready and wired, um, all of the Velcro into place, and now you can see the walls are wired. Okay, so. You can kind of envision it now, the outside walls will sit, the insulation will be in between them. Um, so now we are going to put up walls two and three back there and put the insulation in them um, to get those set and ready. Tree gang hella strong, got friends I ain't met before. Hey, you know, bro, nah. But he say barbershop is favorite song. Put his girl on to put a girl on to put a friend on and then some. Pop two million on Tic Tac for the ping, hit me on the wristwatch. Pine it up with you two, cause sink pain, the only guap. Same one stirring up the back, kumbaya when a single drop. One time, it's a How you hate still sing along? Wait, cause I get paid when you sing along. Huh, thanks. Okay, so what we've done now, we've got the insulation in on walls two, three, and four. Uh, we're gonna leave this wall open while we move it into place uh, and then actually run the neon lighting inside. So we've got that set up as well. Uh, and then after we do that, we'll move on to the ceiling and get the insulation on top and finish this uh, first wall. Okay, so we've got it moved into place. So the next thing we're gonna do is put the inside sheets up uh, to cover up the insulation so it looks nice inside. Then we're gonna run the neon lights, get those set up, the ceiling set up, and uh, we'll be just about done. So now we've got the neon lights set up. We've got the what I call the drop top ceiling on um, to cover up the PVC pipe in the middle. 
So the next thing we're gonna do is put the ceiling on, put the insulation on top, and then finish up the last wall. Don't need nothing from you bombs. Walk in, you wanna claim it? Yeah, corp that geek smile. Tough boy looking weak now. Wanna be down, but a week ago, you was out talking real loud. I am not a fighter, but your lips out of mileage. Now I ain't tossing hands, we can't speak for the gentlemen behind us. Flex up if you roll it. Bless up if you know me. If you ain't with the squad, don't text me, don't phone me. Let me slow it down so you understand this part. If you don't know who I'm with, squad. Okay, so we got the whole thing done. I got all the equipment inside. So let me give you a tour. We some little rascals double take it when you pass us. If you chopping at the mouth, you get chopped in your Adam's apple. I'm just playing, it's a go. Green team squad goes. Top speed when I drop slow. Top roll like lips up. I don't wanna do it, but I gotta do it. Cause they've been telling me that I gotta go bigger than what I've been doing. They don't really get it cause I'm just getting started. Waiting on the win, but they're not a part of it, so. Let me slow it down so you understand this part. If you don't know. Once I got everything in here, I kept it really simple. Went and grabbed a nice comfy chair since I'm gonna spend a lot of time in this room. Uh, I used a lot of the extra material to build myself a little desk to put the laptop on, uh, be able to hide all the wires in it. And I've got my Focusrite interface underneath. Uh, so I've got everything plugged in, running to the microphone. Kept it a really simple design. Uh, nice to move around, make it really easy while I work.